planeswalkers, trainers, duelists, and tamers, welcome. I am pretty excited because not only is this the first video of 2022, it's my first Digimon video. It's my second box opening. Uh, I'm really excited. This set looks super cool. Um, I've been playing a little bit of Digimon. I've been doing a lot of research on the game. They seem to be kind of taking everything that works from its predecessors and then doing their own stuff with it, um, which I think is really unique. Um, this box comes with two box toppers, which I am super excited for. I think that's just one of the most rewarding things that a card game can, can give to the players is like, you know, you buy a box, you get a special card for doing that, which I think is really cool. Um, I like a lot of the kind of disclaimers and stuff they have. Bandai does not assume responsibility for the future value of the cards. And that probably came from Pokemon and, and all that jazz with COVID and, and the, the crazy market the cards in general have been having. But let's not waste any more time. Let's take a look and see what this bad boy has in it. Now I know that there's two box toppers. You get one of six memory boost cards, and then you get one of the different tamers from season four, which is kind of the focal point of this set. Um, so let's see what we get. All right, we got a Tommy. Very cool. This is alternate art. It's got his cool Digivice symbol in the background. He's a mainstay in blue hybrid decks. And here's the box topper pack. Let's see what we got. If I had to pick one, I would say probably green, just because I play green right now. But all the artwork is wonderful. Packs are a little hard to open. Oh, we got the blue one to go with our Tommy. Pokemon and Sunomon eating some ice cream and some shaved ice. It looks like he's got a brain freeze. I like how thematic they are, that all the 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 Digimon that are are eating different foods kind of based on the color memory boost. Let's take a look. I love the pack art, no Greymon on it. Okay, we got a King Waymon, Flame Memory Boost, Monochromon, he's one of my favorites. I loved him in the anime and in Digimon World. Deadly Axemon, Boutmon, Eismon, Blue Hawaii Death, Defilmon, Ancient Volcano Mon, Electric Rush. Ooh, and a Flame Mon. And a Super Rare Wergaruru Mon. This is very nice art. He looks mad. Okay. Ooh, and Telamon. This looks like it's from the Digimon movie. Dodging Angelomon's arrows, maybe. Thunder Laser, that's good in green hybrid decks. Ghostmon, Tortamon, Kumamon, perfect with our Tommy. Grumblemon, Puckmon, Mame Tyramon, Ooh, Nidhogmon, Dorimon, Ancient Sphinxmon, and Quali Eyes Laser Blast. Okay, we got a Gatsumon. He was a fun one. Another Huckmon. Kazumon. Another Thunder Laser. Ooh, Shellmon. Remember him from the anime. I like the little kind of Easter eggs. Gomamon's just taking a nap on him. Bulkmon. Schwarzlish Shats. And there's Gomamon. And Kapurimon. And Aldemon. Ooh, and a Chaos Dramon. My buddy is building Machine Dramon. He's going to like that. And another Ancient Sphinx Mon. Here we got a Phil Mon, King Wei Mon, Brave Metal, Gatsu Mon, Lowey Mon, Saber Leo Mon. I like him a lot. He was 
one of the like the main um, like the the big cards in the original Digimon card game from like the late '90s. It was him and like Hercules Kabuterimon were the two big foil, fancy, flashy boss monster cards. Eismon Scatter Mode, Pride Memory Boost, Stefflemon, ooh Aldemon, Sistermon Blanc Awakened, ooh and another Tommy. That's two. Got a Monodamon, Dino Memory Boost, Kendo Garurumon, Gigastorm, Triceramon. Oh, I like this art too. Looks like Tanamon's afraid she's gonna get gobbled up. Eismon Scatter Mode, another Kumamon, Kaiser Leomon, Fire Drake Strike, Eosmon, Sistermon CL Awakened, ooh, and Phoenixmon. With Sora on there. This is one of the campaign rares. Those are cool. I like those artwork. Okay, we got a Blue Hawaii Death, Monodamon, Metal Kabuterimon, Tuskmon, Kendo Garurumon, Ultra Turbulence. Wendigomon, another favorite from the show. Looks like he's standing over Angemon. Kaiser Leomon, Capurimon, Zephyrmon, Zoe, and Susanoomon. I think he is the like the big, big chase card from the set. Definitely cool. He was the the big cool guy in season four. Okay, we got Ghostmon, Darugamon, Tuskmon, Tilamon, Tidal Wave, Saberleomon, Ultra Turbulence, Daipenmon, Dorimon, Rihimon, another Dorimon, and Harrismon. Some of these guys I don't even recognize. But they seem to have a good batch of you know, they have nostalgic cards and, you know, nods to the older fan base, and they have stuff that's probably from, like, the new series of anime, I would imagine. Got a Gigastorm, Shellmon, Monochromon, Darugamon, Bokemon. He's pretty good. I know he's the focal point of a lot of different hybrid kind of decks. Dino Memory Boost, Bulkmon, Beowulfmon. Drake Strike, Rhino Kabuterimon, Ancient Megatherimon, Dark Nightmon. Brachiamon, Wendigomon, Korikakumon, Metal Kabuterimon, Toy Agumon, look at this. He was one of my favorites as a kid. I like that he was just Lego, uh, Agumon made out of Legos. Pulsemon, there's Waymon, another Zephyrmon, ooh, Surimon. Ugin, and Rasenmon, okay. There's Nimon to go with Pokemon. Waymon. Orochimon. There's another Toyagumon. Gigasmon. Pulsemon. Wendigomon. Kokomon. Ah, Perfect. Back to back. Rihimon. Burning Greymon. Takuya. And Lopmon. Oh, perfect. These two go together. These three go together. I love the nostalgia from the movie. The Digimon the movie is definitely like the most... That and Digimon World for the PS1 are like the two main points of nostalgia for me when it comes to Digimon. 
It's another Nimon, another Gigasmon, another Orochimon, Tornamon, Kumamon, Bulkmon, Eismon, Starlight Velocity, Bukamon, hanging out in a little pool. Always got like a Penguinmon toy. I love the the background stuff and like the, the world building they have in Digimon. Doru Greymon, Dead or Alive, and Cherubimon. Perfect. Yeah, he was pretty scary in the movie when I was a kid. And we got Bulkmon, another Kumamon, another Bokemon, Metal Kabuterimon, King Waymon, Eismon Scatter Mode, Ultra Turbulence, Eosmon, another Gomamon, Avenge Kidmon, Metal Cannon, and Ophanimon. I don't think she was ever in, at least not in the original season one. I haven't seen the, like the reboot or the Tri Adventures. Okay, we got a Blue Hawaii Death, another Monochromon, Deadly Axemon, Kazamon, Loamon, Brachiomon, Thunder Laser, Jet Sylphimon, Beowulfmon, Ancient Volcano Mon, Sister Mon CL Awakened, and a Flame Mon. And we got a Triceramon, Loamon, Flame Memory Boost, Antilamon, Monochromon, Grumblemon, Tidal Wave, Calling from the Darkness. Sounds like a lure of darkness. Did you leave one of your Digimon, return up to two purple Digimon cards from your trash to your hand. So it's kind of like like a weird allure. I love the art on that one. Sorimon, Jet Selfiemon, Skull Nightmon, and Ancient Kazamon. Gigstorm, Dino Memory Boost, Monodamon, Blue Hawaii Death, Philmon, Gatsumon, Brachiamon, Mugen, Bukamon, Doru Greymon, another Takuya, and Metal Greymon with Matt. Oh, these are textured too. They got like, like bubbles on them almost. Okay, we got Flame Memory Boost, Boutmon, Antilamon, Shellmon, Huckmon, Philmon, Bokemon, Rhino Kabuterimon, Koromon. It's funny to see him in green, he's usually red. Gomamon, Dorumon, ooh, and an Ebon Woman. I remember him, I think he was season three with the, the Davas. These boxes are only 24 packs instead of like 36 for Magic or Pokemon, but there's still like a ton to open. Kazamon, Ghostmon, Shellmon, Thunder Laser, Brave Metal, Huckmon, Eismon, Kokomon, Mame Terramon, Nidhogmon, Ooh, Betamon, and Atami. Oh, I like Betamon. I had him as my rookie a few times in Digimon World 1. I like the little noise that he made when he walked. All right, we got another Tidal Wave, Eismon Scatter Mode, Gigastorm, Triceramon, Korikakumon, Ultra Turbulence, Darugamon, Mameteramon, Calling from the Darkness, Dorymon, ooh, JP, and a Rosemon. 
Yeah, JP's pretty good. Considering building green hybrid. Okay, we got Tarugamon, Saber Leoman, Kori Kakuman, Deadly Axeman, Tuskman, Kendo Gururuman, Valpman, Beowulfman, Pride Memory Boost, Avenge Kidman, Evolution Ancient. This is a good one for hybrid decks. I like the art on it. It's crazy. And Emperor Greymon, alternate art. I believe it's an alternate art. Or maybe it's just a full art. I'll have to check on that. They do have some pretty cool treatments in, uh, in Digimon. As I was saying at the beginning, it seems like it's really rewarding the, the player base. I know it's not... It's, it's gained a lot of popularity, but it's not as popular as I would like it to be. It's definitely grown to be one of my favorite games. We got Ghostmon, Saber Leomon, Brave Metal, Tuskmon, King Waymon, Schwarz Lersets, Dino Memory Boost, Pride Memory Boost, Steffelmon, Aldemon, ooh, Koji, the other blue tamer, and Metal Cannon. Okay, we got a Tortamon, we got a Gigasmon, Orochimon, Pulsemon, Waymon, Nimon, Calling from the Darkness, Jet Sylphimon, Rhino Kabuterimon, Harrismon, and Kazuchimon. I don't remember him. Got a Grumblemon, Kendo Gururumon, Monodamon, Metal Kabuterimon, Wendigomon, Gatsumon, Pulsemon, Nidhogmon, Kapurimon, Zephyrmon, Dead or Alive, and Quali Elise Blast. Toyagumon, Brave Metal, Loamon, Pokemon, Tortamon, Grumblemon, Philmon, Burning Greymon, Beetlemon, I don't know if I've pulled any of him yet, Coromon, Lotmon, and Emperor Greymon, okay. Alright. So where is. Just had the other one. So one of these, I'm assuming this one is the alt art, because it's full art. But they're both pretty nice arts. This one looks like he's kind of just sitting back, waiting, kind of like uh, Elvich the Golden Lord. And this one has, you can see, like the other. Ancient Warriors in his blade. Very nice touch. Last pack. Let's see. Well, it's got Toyagumon in it, so it's got to be a good pack. Okay, Nimon, Gigasmon, Orochimon, Waymon, Ultra Turbulence, Metal Kabuterimon, Starlight Velocity. Fire Drake Strike, another Beetleman, Coda Demoto. He's gotta be. The art makes me think he's a character from like maybe a manga, um, but he might be a different anime protagonist. Um, and another Lotmon. I really like the art on Lotmon. All right, I would say this is definitely a pretty good box. Um, the two Emperor Greymons are really good. I know that they're kind of the, the linchpin for red hybrid decks. Um, I was really excited about the Susano Oman as well. Uh, a lot of good stuff for green hybrid, blue hybrid, red hybrid. 
it definitely is shaping up to be a hybrid format. Um, I am looking forward to BT8 and the kind of the corresponding starter decks, the purple and yellow, and then the blue, green, Imperial German. Um, so look forward to those videos as well. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the opening and the pulls. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if you have something to say, make sure to leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.